Hi everyone, my name is Dr Neil Heron and I'm a consultant in sports and exercise medicine as well as being an NIHR clinical lecturer at Keele University as well as working for Queen's University Belfast. My PhD was adapting home-based cadet rehabilitation for use in the TIA and stroke population as well as having a cadet rehabilitation adapted for this group we also promoted exercise, particularly in the form of a pedometer for use in this uh, population. Now you might say, why did you choose cadet rehabilitation for the TIA and stroke population? Well, we know that cadet rehabilitation is a very effective form of secondary prevention for the heart attack patient population. Um, and indeed, if someone's had a heart attack and they get cadet rehabilitation, then they actually reduce their odds of having another heart attack by about 50%. And we know that the reasons for people having a TIA and stroke are very similar to the reasons for that people have a heart attack. And not only that, but following a TIA or a small stroke, patients are at very high risk of further vascular events, particularly within the first 90 days. So that's a key time to initiate secondary prevention in this group. So I therefore wanted to know, could we develop home-based carrot rehabilitation for the TIA and minor stroke population? So how did we do it? Well, there's a set of guidelines called the MRC Guidelines for Developing Complex Health Service Interventions. And basically for the PhD, we followed each step in that. So we developed our evidence um, for the intervention uh, via two systematic reviews. We then had extensive service user involvement, including, including patients, carers, family members, academics, and other health professionals. And then once we were happy that we had an initial intervention to test, we then uh, entered into feasibility and then a pilot study. In terms of the pilot study, there was three arms within that. A control group, the second group received the home-based cadet rehabilitation manual, which had been adapted for use for them, a pedometer and then GP telephone follow-up. Then the third group was very similar to the uh, second group in that they received the manual, a pedometer, but the, their uh, telephone follow-up was conducted by a nurse. So in terms of our pilot study findings, what we found that was when we went into the TIA clinics was that just over 35% of patients were eligible for our study, with over 90% of those actually agreeing to initial researcher contact and over 97% of patients actually completed the study. And then when we followed them up at 12 week review, there was improvement in both the intervention arms in terms of their cardiovascular risk factors and also an improvement in their exercise and physical activity. We undertook focus groups with participants and family members and what we found was that the intervention was very acceptable and they were very happy for the next stage in the development of the um, intervention, which will be a fully powered randomized controlled trial. So as I say, the most important clinical finding that we found in the, the PhD was that the study's recruitment and retention rates and the intervention's acceptability and potential effects indicate that a randomized controlled trial of this novel home-based cadet rehabilitation program, which we've called the Healthy Brain Rehabilitation Manual, can be implemented early after a first TIA or minor stroke it appears feasible and it appears to have important impact on secondary prevention of stroke, which is clearly very important for that group of patients. So thank you for taking the time to listen to me. I'd also like to thank my funders, NIHR and the British Association of Sports and Exercise Medicine, as well as my supervisors and finally yourself for watching this video and for hopefully, hopefully voting for myself for this award. Thank you.